Airways. We have to put these airways in this guy. So come on over here. Okay. These are the oral airways. Uh, as you vividly recall from yesterday, one of them is hollow and one of them is solid. Goodall and Berman. Goodell and Berman. But don't remember that. Don't remember. It's unimportant. Don't remember Goodell and Berman. Goodell and Berman. Just forget that. Hollow, <laughs> hollow, <laughs> solid. Most people like this one. Because you can just put the two. Go down the center of it and stuff. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. Um, oh, this is what I need. Now, like, if it was a perfect world, you'd get a kit like this, and you have all these different sizes. Typically, they give you one medium-sized airway, but that's okay. I need this thing to fit, so let me use the kit, and um, let's look at me, a real person. You should practice measuring on each other as well as the mannequin. Good or not good? Okay. The tragus is this little doodah thing on your ear. Everyone has one. It's that little boinger thing. Boing, 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 boing. Notice it's in line with your jaw. It, it goes right in, your earlobe could be all over the place, but the tragus is always right in line with your jaw, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why I said, so look at that. Is that too small, too big, or just right? Too, too big. Too big, which would probably push my epiglottis down into my belly button or something, right? Okay, or I might, you know, might, you might obstruct the airway with too big of an airway. Okay, how about this one? <laughs> Worse. Still, still, still. <laughs> Worse. Okay, how about... How about this one? <laughs> Too small. We'll go down the airway and cause obstructed airway, and we've fished them out of people with forceps because the thing will just end up blocking the airway down there. Like a big plastic thing in your throat, right? Okay. Um, how about this one? Just, just right. right. Now you can't be too picky. If it's just slightly bigger or smaller, like come on, they only come in like five. Oh, they make little bitty baby ones, but you know, they, they just isn't that many. It's never gonna fit perfectly. It's not like it's like custom made clothing or something. Okay, so I've got it like this. How do I insert it? One one eighty. So if I shove it straight in, it will push the tongue back. back. I can do that if I want to. You know how I do it? I've got gloves on. Grab the guy's tongue. Put the thing in, right? Okay, they cannot be awake if you do that. They might bite you. <laughs> that's okay, but so like this. Now here's the real thing is, can you open their mouth? Because the stupid mannequins always have their mouth open. Do you know how to open someone's mouth? With the scissors. No. Or in your case, we pinch the nose and then the mouth opens because you can't breathe, right? No, like this. Okay, watch how I do this. This rests right here and I'm going to Scissor. So it's this kind of motion. See that? Scissoring motion. So I can open the mouth like this, put this in like this, and go like that. And the flange should be resting on their lips, right? And when I take it out, I pull it straight up. Quickly. When I take it out. Because it's got to be changed periodically. Yeah. Now I can take this out of the person and wash it and put it back in. It's going in their mouth, right? It's their germs, their mouth. It's crusty, but otherwise I can change it, put a new one in. A good rule about that is if you're going to put a new one in, just push it over a little bit. Find the one you want to put in the guy. Get the new one partly in place. Pull out the old one and then do this. Because if they're a biter and you pull this out, they'll go like that, then you can't get the new one in. So if you know the patient is bites on their tubes and stuff, just put the new one in before you pull the old one out. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then other bad, there's some bad things about this. You can't do oral care very well. It kind of makes you gag. It's kind of like makes you drool like a monkey because of parasympathetic stimulation of your mouth makes you just drool. So there's some problems with this. Uh, if I put this in here and the patient starts to go like this, oh, 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 what should I do? Take it off. Immediately pull it out. Because why? They're gagging. They're going to vomit. Okay, so the semi-conscious patient or the conscious patient cannot tolerate this very well being in their mouth. Okay, so what am I going to do? Put a nasal. Nasal airway. Can I have some nasal airways? Now, the nasal airway, there's a big difference between the nasal and the oral. Besides the fact that it goes to the nose, you have to lubricate it. Oral airways do not have to be lubricated. If you wanted to, you could just dip it in water and that'd be enough lubrication for it. But if you're nose, you're going to get a nose in right? You don't lubricate it. Okay. Now, most people, one side of their nose is bigger than the other. The right nair, if you
you can possibly go for the right near, the right near is going to work better. All right. Now, how about the sizing of this thing? Dude, that's too big. Now, you're thinking of two sizings here. You're looking at their nose, and will it fit in their nose, and then you're thinking about how long it is. The problem with these airways is that if you get one that's smaller in diameter, it's shorter. So if you had someone that was tall with a very small nose, it, this wouldn't work very well. Yeah. And you could also cut these. You can cut these down and make them shorter. You can just cut them off if you want to. Okay, so how do I size this one? It's kind of not um, as accurate. The from the nose to the thing. It's kind of iffy, yeah? So what we end up doing, we take, this one would work. We take a couple of them to the bedside, like two or three of them, because you just aren't gonna know. Because just because you can fit this in my nose doesn't mean it'll go all the way down, right? Okay, so then I have to lubricate. What should I lubricate with? Water soluble, a surgilube, or KY jelly, or something like the water soluble lubricant, not Vaseline. Mannequins, armor all is good. Okay, but what I do, um, we have to be careful doing this or we'll end up getting this on the floor, which is very slippery. So I'm going to put one shot of this on here to indicate that you have lubricated it. And when you lubricate the real one, you take this and you completely get it really, really coated in this stuff. Don't be skimpy about it. You want a lot. Okay, I'm going to hold this here close to the end. So I have, like a, like a, I have control over it. I can hold it like this, perfectly okay. It's gonna be slippery. Okay, I'm gonna put this in your nose, sir. So now, when you put this in, there's a real simple rule. You wanna stay midline, you don't wanna go out. If you pull out this way, you'll hit the turbulence and cause a nose bleed. So you wanna stay along the septum, so you wanna stay midline. I'm, I'm staying in the middle, I'm not, I don't wanna see his outer side of his nose bulging. I'm gonna push in here, and then in most people, you'll hit a spot where there's a little bit of a, uh, a it'll stop, because it's going around the curve. You may have to twist it a little bit. This is what you don't do. You don't take it, and you don't say, oh, it's stuck, force it. Because people can have deviated septums, they can have a block polyps in their nose, little uh, asthmatics, like 10% of them have big nasal polyps. So we want to put this in gently, advancing it about to the curve. We may have to twist it a little bit. We push it in. Now, um, in terms of securing these tubes, we don't usually. You can tape the oral airway in place. We can look at that later. But normally these just go in and they stay. They don't get taped like the ET tube or tied like the tree. They just go in place. Okay, so this one has to be lubricated. Try the right side first. Stay midline. And don't force it on a real person. Yeah. Okay, so the nasal airway has two purposes. You use it when they cannot tolerate an oral airway. And the, they're having airway obstruction. What does airway obstruction sound like? <coughs> Snoring. Snoring is partial upper airway obstruction. We've all heard snoring. If your patient is making snoring sounds, then they have partial airway obstruction. Whether they're awake or asleep or not, snoring is part. But these people aren't asleep, and they're having, it sounds like they're snoring. So that sound is the sound of the airway being partly closed. A fully obstructed airway makes no sound. So that's easy. <laughs> so if they're making snoring sounds, you're going to put that oral airway in there. If they gag on it, then you're going to put the nasal airway in place. Right? So you use the nasal when the, the semi-conscious patient. The other purpose of this is a really cool thing, and it came about as a secondary thing for suction. So if we have to suction down the nose a lot, it'll give nosebleeds. It'll really hurt their nose. Their nose will turn to like a piece of hamburger after a while. But if you put this in, so if I have to suction down the nose more than once or twice on a patient, I'll always put this in. It protects the inside of their nose, it makes the procedure more comfortable, and then it also helps guide the catheter down to their lungs. So that's really good. Now if you don't want to use, now what if the guy's nose is all bust up already and you have to put this in? Then don't use surgical lubricant, use lidocaine jelly. So there's an anesthetic gel, just like the surgical lubricant, but it has anesthetic. Put that in there a few minutes ahead of time, and their nose won't be so painful when you, when you do this. Once this is in place, it'll protect the nose, and the nose can heal. So for, as an airway, to keep the tongue from blocking the airway, and as a tool for suction, repeated nasal suction. Okay, so, I'll tell you what, um, some of you guys go over there and practice the airway maneuvers in the bagging. 
And then some of you guys stay here.